I got Chef Chris, come on in. Look at this. How are we doing? Beautiful. Christina's up. Oh, oh. can't forget the wine. Russian River, I'm going to be in good shape with this. Yes, you are. No worries there. I'll pull these up here. Chef, thanks for coming, buddy. No problem, Rick. Thank you for having Good me. Having you. Look at this. Colorful. A little wine for you? No, never said no to wine. A little wine for that. me? There we go. Perfect. Beautiful. So, I got to talk to Chef Chris the other day, and I went over to the Marriott. And I actually have to say that I'm at the Marriott on a regular basis because they host so many great events in the city. It's really, a, truly a great event destination. And Farouk, who is the general manager, has been there a short time now, I think, what, three? Yeah. About, about four months now, three or four months, yeah, yeah. somewhere around there. Farouk and I sit on a, a board of directors together, so I have a great collaboration and working relationship with him. I appreciate his dedication and passion now for the city of Providence. You guys launched recently this program, the, the new bike program. The new bike program, yeah, yeah, yeah program. it's taken so off really, really well. If, if you have the reason to escape to the Marriott, and there's always a reason to escape, you need to go online and check out the regular hotel stuff, I have to say that first and foremost. But this destination, and I have to uh, describe it this way because Aqua's been around for a little while, just like the Harbor Lights, and it's gone through transformations and stuff. But I have to say that Aqua is truly a unique destination right here in the city of Providence. You really, outside of living in a residential, there's really nowhere else to go find where you have an outdoor pool at a hotel. And Aqua is about that summer unique destination experience where you've got the pool, you've got dining, and I want to let the chef talk about the menus that he's got out there, and then we'll describe a little bit more on the menu. But this is something that it, it is a special thing to have in the city. So, Chef, tell me what you brought in today. Well, we brought a little uh, uh, here with some uh, balsamic syrup, a uh, little bit of feta cheese, uh, fresh mint, some really, really nice uh, extra virgin olive oil. And then you can't be in New England without a lobster roll. There so you go. We have a lobster roll, some, some nice chips. Uh, we actually partnered up with Deep River, uh, a company out of Connecticut. Uh, you've seen the bags all over the oh, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're featuring them as kind of part of our local sustainability and, and sourcing that we like to do. So let's talk about that, the local sustainability and sourcing. So is that, I mean, you've got a restaurant inside the hotel. Correct. Blue Fin Grill. Mm -hmm. It's got the wonderful hat on. And then you got Aqua. So it's not just Aqua. It is another restaurant, which we'll talk about in a second. But let's talk about your menus overall from the local sourcing. How extensive is the menu that they can do in Aqua? And what are the times of day that you can order to eat out there? Uh, well, we do, uh, we do offer food from around 11 to to 10 o'clock uh, during the week and then okay. on weekends we go a little bit later to 11 p.m. Uh, we're looking about introducing maybe some breakfast or some smoothies uh, nice. in the morning. Uh, there was talk about maybe doing some yoga on the deck around the pool. Uh, so a lot of exciting things that are going to be coming up in uh, soon in the near future, especially as the weather starts to get better and we don't have uh, this deep humidity yes. that we're going into right now. So so literally, it's right now, it's, it's lunch and dinner. You can go to Aqua anytime. Uh, correct. We don't uh, offer, say, full entrees per se. We do have things like fish tacos and some lighter fare. Okay. But it's more, uh, you know, kind of driven for the lounge, uh, more bar activity. And we just, we have some nice things to kind of uh, pick on while uh, you sitting around in a nice area and drinking. So talking about the lounge cocktail side of things. Paint kind of a picture, if you can, of the setup of Aqua. For those of you who haven't been there, so Aqua is is, is you wouldn't know it was there if you if you didn't run into it. To be honest with you, it's a uh, it's one of those things where it's kind of like a hidden oasis inside of the Marriott. So if you picture, you know, four square walls that you can't see from the outside, it's got this wonderful Miami esque type uh, deck that has you know an indoor and an outdoor pool, and we kind of just use the the landscape and you know we have uh, tiered levels, covered levels, uh, soft seating, hard seating, you know right. tables. Uh, we do have a, a granite bar that you could set out as well. Um, so there's a lot of just beautiful, beautiful scenery, some plants, some nice things going on. Fire pits. I have someone that texted me about that. And I saw the other day. There's fire pits at night. Correct. Right? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, there's three fire pits and as well as cabanas that we have. Uh, so we do offer cabana rentals. You can come in and. Uh, do the cabana rental, you get to swim in the pool, you get, uh, we do offer bottle service and things of that nature as well, so. So this is going to what I was just talking about with our last guest from Harbor Lights from the pool, is that there's this opportunity, so if they come in, is it kind of like, how do you get to use the pool? Is it like a day pass separate from uh, the we, dining? Or we do, do have a couple different ways you can use the pool. Sure. One, obviously you can be a guest at the hotel. Okay. Um, two is we do offer a daycation, uh, which is. Daycation, I love that. From 10 to four, uh, Monday through Thursday, you can come in uh, for $30 and you can swim in the pool and uh, just kind of relax by everything. and and just take in the scenery. Um, another way you can do it is if you rent a cabana. So there's a couple different cabana packages that we offer. Uh, and you can just really, you know, you come in, you have a cabana with six of your friends, and you get to swim in the pool. You get a bottle of liquor and some food, and it's a good time. So, so this is what I mean. This, whole, this goes to my whole point about discovering a destination right in your own backyard. You're hot, gorgeous day like today, you want a great place for lunch, you got the day off, or you're going in you know, later in the afternoon, you get to swing by. You can get the pool, a cabana, get something to drink, Get this life fair. You, you've got it made in the heart of the city of Providence at a place that's amazing. And so you go to the vacation, which you're talking about, Correct. but it becomes a staycation 
because you get there and then you want to just spend the night. You go to the hotel desk and you can just boom, spend the night. Just spend the night. And one of the very cool things I have to say, which another unique thing, and I've always loved this about going to events at the Marriott, is that you don't, there's parking. It's huge. The parking lot is massive around yeah. the entire property. Free right? parking. Yeah. And free parking. So there you go. So you've got, there's a, you got the restaurant, you got the hotel, there's a, a salon in there. You've got, yeah, the G and Salon. So great, now, great place. Yeah, the G Salon is also doing, I saw it there, um, the massage table, right? Correct, yeah. So we offer massages and, and different uh, salon packages that they do outside in Aqua. Uh, you get massages, I believe there's pedicures, things of that nature as well. I don't know how you can go wrong with this. So we're going to go back to the menu for a second. But first, we're going to go back to the wine because you brought me something. This is a wine that I absolutely love. I wrote anything Russian River and Chardonnay. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for joining me, Chris. Anytime. Oh, yeah. I'll be drinking that some more time. Delicious. So I have to talk about pairings up. You guys have the bar in Bluefin. You have the bar outside at Aqua. Right. Your menu style, when you come up with these, and it's a lot of locally sourced things, your programs for cocktails and wine is pretty extensive. Correct, yeah. So the bar in there, I went in and asked for some summary cocktails when I was at Aqua, I think probably first time, it was like a week or two ago, and you just started to open up everything mm -hmm. up there. And they literally had this great list that they went through. And then he's like, but tell me what you like. So I was telling him that I liked gin and tonics, okay. kind of like my summary thing. And he came up with this unique twist of putting in uh, extra lime, and then some. Uh, there was a twist of some like orange liqueur that he put in there, and it was absolutely amazing that he just came up with this cocktail. So these are the things that you want to look for when you go to these destinations because the opportunity to interact with the staff that knows this stuff and do it is phenomenal. Um, I mean, I've seen you and, and the other chefs come out of the kitchen right, right, things. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the menu. So we, we talked about the sleigh one. Let's talk about Bluefin because if people want to be outside and relax when they come in for dinner, that's a possibility. That's right. Yeah, and we, uh, you know, it's more entree style in a sense. Uh, we do have a section simply crafted where you can kind of create your own meal based on, you know, method of prep, the type of fish or protein. Uh, that we offer and then you know different sauces and stuff we do have a, a wide variety of things it's kind of worldly in flavor it's not really geared towards one uh, main direction um, so we do kind of bounce around it's, it's nice because the cooks get a good a, a is it taste. heavy on the seafood uh, it is heavy on the seafood we, but we do offer a lot of uh, other vegetarian por uh, offerings and as well as some meat nice so Bluefin is right off, like when you enter the hotel I can tell you this again like because I've been there so much times when you went to the hotel it's literally Bluefin is off to the right you're going to go down a hallway, and like you said, it's kind of unassuming because the way Aqua is situated, it's in the middle of the hotel, right? Dead center. Dead center, right in the middle of the hotel. So all the rooms go around. Correct. So you're going down this hallway, and then you're left out to Aqua. And if you've seen on my social media, I post up some pictures of the entrance and then kind of how it's set up outside. But the other thing I want to bring up is, when I was just talking about those events, is that Aqua, can you host, you can host private events at Aqua, right? Oh, yeah, we can, uh, you know, from parties as small as six to as, you know, as many as 150, 200 people. Uh, so we, you know, all through our banquet department, we offer any of those uh, packages and, you know, bar mitzvahs, bat mitzvahs, weddings, any type of destination or special function that you want to do, bachelorette parties, all that stuff is available. So you've got the ability, and I just want to recap because this is the stuff that's still making sure everybody understands is that this destination to be in the city of Brown, you said you're experimenting with breakfast, which you got to let us know that happens because we'll put that out there big time. So you got lunch and dinner, you got the ability to be in a cabana, lounge by the pool, swim in the pool, have this daycation as you turn it out to stay out there and if you want to go inside get away from the heat for a little bit you can go in and have dinner you could stay there if you want to yeah. you can get a massage it's kind of unending when you look at these destinations and that's why i believe that they become these true destinations and from the perspective that aqua's open through i think you keep going until the warm weather kind of fades away uh, yeah right? pretty much at least uh end of september if not the middle of october yeah, we'll be so doing and events will go probably through halloween right so i mean you've got a destination that again has some seasonality, but the rest of it, when you go past Aqua, you've got the ability to be inside and go to Bluefin, which, you know, you don't think about these things because the Marriott is a hotel, and it's a staple that's been around forever, so you really don't think about it, but it has the option to be there. So, Chef, one of the things I kind of try to end it out when I have chefs on, because I get all these great questions about the menu. Sure. Talk about some of the things, we can talk about both things, we can talk about Aqua, we can talk about Bluefin, but talk about things that are styles, not even so much styles, but and not even so much your favorite, but things that you recommend that people try on the menu. Uh, well, uh, on the aqua menu, definitely the fish tacos. Uh, for me, I'm a, a lighter eater during the summer, so because watermelon, is, watermelon nothing says summer like watermelon. Nothing says summer like watermelon. So uh, those are kind of the things that I would go after. Uh, on the inside, in the bluefin, you know, we would probably go. Uh, we have a wonderful scampi dish uh, with some scallops and shrimp over over fresh linguine. Um, we also have, you know, if you're a meat eater, we have a, a lovely fillet with uh, apple and horseradish crema, some mashed potatoes, a little asparagus. Um, so there's, the raw frames are really endless, and uh, really where we shine is uh, on our specials. So the, you know, between myself and the other chefs and the cooks on the line, we all kind of collaborate. And depending on what we get in from the farm, we deal heavily, heavily with farm fresh. So uh, we get a lot of local 
uh, produce that we use and we translate that into dishes for the farm. So is that something you guys try to do year round? Is that to work with companies like Farm Fresh to yeah, keep it local? Definitely. Going? Farm Fresh, Little City Growers, uh, you know, Second Sub Farms, things of that nature. So, and that's another important thing to highlight. We talked about this before and we talked about not just seasonality of menu items, but we talked about locally sourcing. So. A hotel, a big hotel like the Marriott, which is a, a massive chain throughout the country, to be able to make that commitment to locally sourcing, it's something that us as consumers or residents of Rhode Island want to take advantage of. And yes, going to the Marriott, you're going to have tourists galore because right. it's a great place. The occupancy there at the hotel is fantastic. But for you guys to make that commitment locally is insanely important. Yeah, we have to. I mean, it's, it's important that we use the people around us, you know, not only that we can thrive, then we can also help them thrive. So, you know, most of our seafood comes from Point Judith. Our calamari is from there. Our uh, Joe McCrab comes from there. Um, really? And we, we use uh, Foley's Fish out of New Bedford, and that they handle pretty much our nice. our main uh, fish that comes in. It, it's just, I mean, you just covered everything. You covered meats, poultry, yeah, seafood, vegetables. Everything. You just everything. covered everything. everything from there. All right, so we talked about the menu items. We talked about the, the destination of going over there to see that. Is there anything, any other news coming up, exciting things that we should know about? I mean, I know you talked about breakfast, which will be huge if we can put that out. Right. Uh, we also do offer, uh, like, chef tables that um, we actually have one tomorrow mm -hmm. night. Uh, where we customize, say, a five or six course menu to your liking. Uh, nice. We do anywhere from parties of, uh, we like to do six to eight, but we can push it up to 10 or 12 if need be. Okay. Uh, and we do do wine dinners every once and again. So we have one coming up next uh, Tuesday, uh, and it's a, a five course meal uh, that we put together for this specific event. Who's the wine, the winery for that meal? Uh, well, actually, it's um, we're using some of our uh, wines off the list, so we're not going to feature a select wine. So it'll be different pairings for each Correct. course. So okay. different pairings for each course. Where can they look at that to get more information on those wine dinners? Uh, well, we uh, we will post them on our Providence Marriott site. Okay. Um, so you can find them on there, and as well as our social media with uh, the uh, Bluefin Facebook, Aqua Facebook, things of that nature. So go back to the chef's table for a second, because sure. that's something that's just it, it was out there for a little while, and then came back, and people doing it. So how does that work? Do they it, do they set the menu with you? Do you set the menu? How um, that basically, up? we can do it a you know a couple different ways. We can sit down and have a consultation. Uh, and talk about your likes, your dislikes, your allergies, things of that nature, and okay. customize a menu for you. Or you can kind of just let us cook how we like to cook, and we'll come up with a varying set of dishes that we, uh, you know, feel best suited for the, again, what we have in house as far as the local produce, local things. And we really, that's where we really shine. We really focus, uh, kind of hyper local, if you will. Gotcha. So when you do those, do, they, do the guests have the option of being outside in Aqua or inside? Is it? Uh, we do it primarily in the Bluefin, okay. um, and then uh, as well, one of the courses we do cook table side. Nice. So you get a little bit of action or a little interaction with the chef. Uh, so you know, some food will come from the back of the kitchen, and then one one of the courses, depending on which one we feel is uh, most easily accessible to the to the diner. So that's one of the things that you got to look into is if you're looking at these experiences, on top of the destination to do that. I don't see any reason, especially for me, why you can't combine using the destination and having the same type of dinner. Right. And if you, special occasion wise, and this is one of the things I definitely want to highlight with everyone today, is that from a special occasion perspective, all of these destinations I'm bringing up today are places that are perfect for this. I mean, from the free parking to the pool to the hotel night stay to the locally sourcing that the chef's team does, it, it's amazing stuff that's out there. So it's definitely worth you checking out and making sure you take advantage of it. Chef, this has been fantastic. Beautiful. Awesome education. Definitely check it out. So you got both Aqua, Bluefin, Go over there. If they want to do the passes, so before, just make sure we cover that. So they want to come up for the pass, they're going to stay for lunch or dinner. Right. They're, they're two separate things, kind of, right? So if they want to stay for lunch or dinner, they don't necessarily have to be. No, you can come in, in and pool, just right? join us whenever you want. Uh, it's it's really the swimming in the pool is where the vacations and things like that. Right. So that's is that something that they purchase at the pool or is that something they purchase inside? How does that work? Uh, you can purchase it at the front at the front desk. Okay. So you can come in and uh, we do limit the amount because we want our obviously our hotel guests to enjoy. But right. uh, you know, I believe there's uh, anywhere from 12 to 15 passes that we give out per day. Um, so if you get to be one of those best, and it's our first come first serve basis. Gotcha. Uh, you can call and reserve. Um, so weekends are busy, I'm assuming. Weekends we usually let that for the hotel guests because we're a little. Uh, okay. So how does if they're if they're coming to dine? I mean, you can show up for lunch. You can show up after work. I mean, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Show you're going up for out lunch, dinner. You know, you want drinks. You come in anytime. Doesn't really matter. Uh, we're just you know obviously hours of operation. Right. But, um, you get, but you got a great after work networking. Correct. Dining spot for you guys. Well, thank you so much, Chef. This no has been problem. fantastic. I really for appreciate you coming in. This is beautiful. I'm sure that this is going to get devoured by my coworkers. I'm going to let you slide that out there with All them. All right, take that.